Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. It's a new season and from the 24 that you see on the screen, you know what that means, another day one infinite climb. And as always, we're gonna discuss the decks that I played to infinite. So let's go ahead and jump on into it and break those down. So for this season, I did end up playing three different decks. That's usually what I like to do. It just kind of helps break up the monotony of the grind. And so I usually switch every 10 ranks, you know, 70 to 80, then 80 to 90, then 90 finally to infinite. And I'll put the full stats on there. Other than a few mobile games, that is the entire run right there. And as you can see, one is definitely not like the rest. So the first deck that I played was this Loki list here. Now I just recently covered this for Infinity Conquest, was very successful for me, went nine and one, almost had a two perfect runs back to back. But when it came to ladder today, it just felt like a struggle. I was fighting for every cube, unless I was winning a four or a big eight cube game, just felt like I was breaking even all the time. And that's not to say it's a bad list. I mean, I had a 59% win rate. There's just better things that I think you can be doing right now. And I'm not gonna lie, Gladiator did nothing but screw me over time and time again. There's so many big cards out there. There's a lot of destroy lists, and if you pull something and blow it up, you're just thinning out their deck, getting to the more important cards. It's, I don't know. You know, and then like I said before, the most difficult decision you have to make when playing this deck is, are you going to Loki or not? Because the majority of the time, one of the tech cards that you need to win the match are also sitting in your hand. And if you play Loki, you know, poof, there it goes. But like I said, definitely not a bad list. It's a, it's a solid, decent list if you're wanting to play Loki, but definitely not the best thing you can be doing. Like I said, if you wanna see a more detailed uh, breakdown, there'll be a link down in the description to that video. And I only have one gameplay footage of this deck everybody knows about loki let's move on now the second deck that i played to infinite from 80 to 90 is this destroy list here y'all know i wasn't going to climb to infinite without playing a little bit of destroy but i gotta say this was a struggle too i was having to fight for every q and it performed just as well as the loki or just as bad however you want to look at it i think right at 59 percent win rate with one less game again a decent deck but probably not the best thing you can be playing but according to second dinner it is but hey we won't go there but it's just your standard destroy list now i do have hulkbuster teched in for nico i uh, i put him in for her whenever they made the nerf or buff whatever you want to look at it and then i was already playing lady death strike now i do think having nico in place of lady death strike is the more optimal version probably a lot more consistent but as you will see in a clip later on Hitting an Iron Man with a mystique behind it when you're playing Living Tribunal, it just does something for me. I just like having her. It doesn't happen that often. You're rarely ever going to forge into her and hit something, you know, big. But every once in a while, you know, a chef kiss, it does happen. But again, it's your standard, typical destroy list. You're just trying to make a big Deadpool or other big cars for you to destroy and then play out that cheated death and a massive, massive null. Now, there is a lot of destroy out there right now, and I gotta say, destroy mirror matches suck. It comes down to, you know, who draws better or who holds their Killmonger till the end so that they can snipe Deadpool. It's a great play. You'll actually get to see that one too. But let's talk about what I think might be the best deck right now in the game and probably the one I would recommend as you're climbing right now. Now, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. We played Thanos Logjaw from 90 to 100, but what did shock me and surprise me was the 88% win rate across 16 games. Just felt like I was on cruise control running through everyone. And I gotta say, if I had to pick one deck recommend for people to play right now, it's definitely this list. You got so much power. You got so many options. It's just versatile. You just there's nothing you can't do. You're trying to fish something massive out of Lockjaw with the stone, hopefully 10 power or more. That way you can play a discounted Scar. And one thing to note, I'm pretty sure it's a bug. I don't think it's intended, but if you wave, Scar will actually go all the way down to two if you have a 10 power card on the board. So something you can do on turn five, you could throw a wave out or a wave into a Lockjaw. And as long as you have a 10 power card on the board already, you could play Scar for two and then another six cost for four. It's kind of hard to deal with. There's a lot of power, but like I said, you just have so many options. You also have Kyra to protect your stones, to protect your big cards. I, I don't know what you know what else to say. It's like your opponents need a Shang Chi for every lane. And then to top it all off, if you were able to put a lot of stats out early on, you drop that beloved leech on five, and then your opponents really can't do anything. They can just play stats out. They're not going to be able to interact with you at all. No Shang Chi. Yeah, it's just kind of all around the, the the package, the ideal deck, I have to say. Now, it may not be the most optimal. I know some people are running Jeff and a few cards here and there, but for the most part, you build something close to this, 
learn how to play it you're going to have a lot of success so we're going to go ahead and jump into the gameplay footage there's only one match with the loki deck since i just covered it and the rest will be destroy and thanos hope you all enjoy the video good luck out there as you make your climb i know that climbing infinite can be very stressful but as always gang y'all be good y'all be safe i'll catch you on the next video do me that favor click that like button if you're not subscribed i would greatly appreciate it and i'll see you around zelda never ends well, no. Nintendo's got to make their money. You know, Nintendo's got to make their money. Not great for us because they can just play a time stone in the middle. It will swap at some point. Ooh. Well, yeah, they're playing Time Stone. Maybe we can play Eliath. I think we want to play Eliath here. Question is, where would they play it, right? They would want to play into the big, right? See if we can snipe it with the Eliath. <laughs> well, now I don't feel so sure because they don't seem very sure about their play. Dang it. See what happens here. He's probably playing Scar, right? Pull something small. Hmm. Is he gonna do it again though? So he got another card draw, right? You know what? I'll roll the dice. As long as he's not about to play Kyera, Kyera would get us. And they probably are. I mean, they have all their cards. Unless they sucked it up. Well, that's not Kyera. Oh. Well, I think we... Okay. Whew. I think we, we would have won that anyways. Nice. Nice. That's one of those games where you have all the tech cards you need, so you can't be playing Loki, unfortunately. Um, We played Elioth earlier. I can't remember what he was running, though. I remember now. I remember. We got a better hand than we had last time, though. You know what I mean? Love that Hulk Buster. Passed on it because you never see it. I 
Really hoping not to get smoked by Killmonger here. No Killmonger, that's good. We we need our null. Oh, we're tied there on power. Kind of a bad place to be. Oof, that really is not good. Please be not death. Yeah, well. Oh, I think we got him. Yes! Revenge! Victory. We're lucky he didn't have death. Got to be aggressive with destroy nowadays. Well, I mean, I think you always had to be, but Nid of Valir is probably one of the best because like Venom and Null get all the buffs from Nid of Valir. Uh oh. Am I about to get hit with armor? I don't like when people would be pointing at me, you know. He's not even going for it here. Okay, all right. Oh, I would love to play Death Strike right now. I got really excited all of a sudden. I think we're going to do this. I don't, I don't like this actually. I don't like him having priority. So this like, seems like some, some nonsense. Let's see. I, he's going to move. He doesn't move. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Victory. I mean, that was greedy, right? Does that even win? It does. So I know we're coming up late on this match here. I know we're coming in late. It's for eight.
but this is why we have the lady d because this is probably living tribunal Yeah. Every once in a while you get to do it. It's not very often. Well, we know what location we're going for. Best case is Lockjaw here so that I can play Lockjaw and a stone. We're going to do this. We're going to throw out. Oh, okay. God. Um, let's do this. No, 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 no. Let's do this. I don't think they stay zero. I wish I could know that for sure. Okay. Oh, I bet I hit infinite. I bet I hit infinite. I should be leaving. Holy moly. You know, maybe it'll work. He infinites right here, huh? Yeah, so, oh, I bet he infinites. Well, it's a toss up. Oh, who knows what he's going to discard now? What a hit. What a hit. I guess we're playing out reality stone here. It's kind of what it looks like. Well, this is good for us because we can drop ones and sixes there without really any worries. Oh boy. Never mind. They can get into the danger room just fine. Um I don't know. We're going to just chill here for a second. Okay. I look for him to like play dagger and then pull with ghost. So I don't want to put wave over there either. Well, he's not going to do any of that. So that's cool.
We'll just stick with the blob here. It's gonna be pretty big. Can't be shang chi And then we just need to fight for one more lane. Really felt like the wave helped us more than him because they're usually trying to play out a lot of different things. I don't even have to worry about 2099 at this point. He played Falcon last. What if we beat him at his own move game? He's got priority. You know what? Why not? Don't go. Okay. I don't know if we're going to win now. <laughs> um, I'm pulling like 15 over. Yeah. No, we got him. We got him. There we go. Wasn't doing my math properly. We're just just helping out. Thought we thought you'd want to move a little more. 